Hello my darlings, hope you're all doing well. Bless Lily here. And welcome to this reading where I'm going to be channeling exactly what it is that you need to hear. There are going to be no options. I do want to do it as... I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's a collective reading. I would call it more if it finds you and if it resonates with you at the beginning, then this is the reading for you. Right? So uh, what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of an energy check-in so that you can see if this reading is for you. And if not, I have plenty of other readings on my channel, so do check it out. But today I want to do it with just the one option. And maybe for a little bit longer than I usually do it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the reading for those who are kind of in the dark at this particular moment. Um, it feels like you, my darlings, you're worried about the future and something about your intuition clashing with your fears, with your expectations. Mm, very strong intuition. I do see, you know, a lot of you, you could be connected to psychology or interested in psychology connected to tarot, you could be a tarot reader yourself, you might be struggling a little bit in this particular moment with kind of the direction of your life. So at this time, there are lots of unknowns in your life. And your intuition uh, might be, how do I put it? Your intuition might be on mute at this particular time, right? But what I'm seeing overall, you know, you guys are somebody who is ready for happiness, is ready for that good change to come into your life, right? You might call yourself an introvert, but it kind of feels like with the right people, you can be an extrovert. It feels that with the right environment, and you know this about yourself, you can really open up. You can really have fun. You can really talk to people. You might even have leadership qualities that are coming through in the right environment where you feel supported. I do feel a lot of childhood energy that's coming through over here. So you guys might be a big kid or you, might, you guys might have reconnected with your inner child and now you're kind of living out all of those things that you wanted to experience when you were little right and you didn't get to experience so some people might say you know like what the hell are you doing like coloring those books or collecting dolls or you know doing whatever it is that that's considered to be childish behavior but for you this is something you didn't get to experience when you were younger and you might be experiencing it now because you like you know what i didn't get to experience it i want to experience it now i have my adult money and i'm going to put it towards the happiness of this part of myself that didn't get to be happy that didn't get to experience those things right some people might say that you look younger than your age mm -hmm. and i also want to say that this reading could possibly be for somebody who's stuck in a very hot place right now, a very hot place whenever you're watching it. All right, if that sounds like you guys, keep on watching, yeah? Because two beautiful major arcanas came through. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the channeled message that the cards have for you. What is it that you need to know at this particular moment, my darlings? Um, okay, uh, you might be overcomplicating certain things. I'm hearing overthinking, the overthinking, the overthinking, the overthinking, right? Um, this card is very much about simplicity. There's not a lot going on. And um, they're kind of saying that you might be overthinking because you're not seeing the full picture. It, there's only a fragment over here. Um, is it a, a flower? Is it just the one flower? Is it in a vase? Uh, is there a window over there? Is somebody watering this flower? What is going on? So um, there's definitely this energy where they're saying you might not see the full picture just yet. You could also be somebody who might be seeing a lot of numbers 
uh, repetitive numbers um, and just be like, what the hell do they all mean? Please, I'm so confused. What's up with all the sevens and all the elevens and all the thirteenth? Like, I can't make sense of it, right? And they're saying, darling, do your best to just kind of pump the brakes on the overthinking. Not the full picture is visible just yet. Um, you kind of promised over here that it will all make sense, right? It could be within the next 13 days. For some of you, I'm seeing one to three months from this timeless reading, whenever you're seeing. And they're saying that the best way for you to go about things is not to look for hidden meanings, yeah? Because again, um, with the High Priestess over here, you might also be somebody who constantly looks for hidden meanings and you're trying to explain everything to yourself and maybe to other people. And, you know, it just wastes a lot of brain power, a lot of your energy. It takes up a lot of your internal storage. And they're saying, listen, Things are simpler than what you might think. Because you, my darlings, again, you could be somebody who um, has quite a lot of anxiety and you try to think of every possible scenario in your head and to find a solution. And it might not even happen. You know what I mean? Like you're worrying about things, 99% of which are not even going to happen. So simplicity is key over here. I always say that, you know, when there's going to be an actual problem, there's going to be an actual solution. Looking for solutions for issues that are not existent is just wasting your time and burning through your nervous system, right? This is the first thing that you needed to hear over here. So taking things at face value... And kind of, you know, taking taking the time out, I want to say. So a lot of you might be wondering about uh, a particular relationship. Or you might be wondering about your love life over here. Uh, whether you will ever find the one, whether the person you are with, whether they're faithful, whether it's going to happen or not. Um, there's a lot of kind of digging. You, it's, it's almost like you want to get into another person's head. If you are in a situation where um, you are in a relationship or a situationship, and they're kind of saying uh, you might be overestimating the depth of the other person. Um, I know it might sound bad for some of you, but, but some of you guys, you need to hear it, you know? You might be, uh, because you are, you have a lot of depth and you are somebody who needs a lot of explanation or you need to kind of break things down and understand why this, why that, like there's a bunch of hardcore formulas in your head. You might think that a lot of people are like that, but no. Somebody um, that you're asking about or that you're thinking about, they might have a much simpler mindset and I don't mean this in like in a bad way that they're that they're not smart no not at all it's just that their view of the world is is simpler and you might be looking for the reasons and so on and so forth and again the cards are saying listen just take things at face value if if they're doing something and if, if they're not doing something, there is a simpler reason. And I want to say for a lot of you, what you need to hear, they're saying it's not about you, it's about them. You might be looking for things that are wrong with you. And there is nothing wrong with you. It just might not be the right person, or again, you're overthinking, and it might even be the right person, but you're overthinking. You might be like trying to micromanage the universe over here. Now, for those of you guys who are single, and if you 
manage to listen to my rambling on to this point. <laughs> this is very important as well. You might think that you need to go through 10, 20, 30 stages of healing, that you need to do a lot of things, that you need to change your mind, body, things, that you need to be in a certain place to meet your significant other. Again, they're saying no. It's going to be much, much simpler than that. Much simpler than that. As a matter of fact, for a lot of you, I see somebody special coming in within the next 40 to 50 days. Yeah? And again, they're kind of saying, don't overcomplicate things when this person comes in. Let things unfold organically because one of the aspects of this card is where we're looking at a flower that took its time to grow, that took its time to blossom, that took its time to bloom, that took its time to do whatever it needed to do to get to that stage. And sometimes we want to skip certain stages to get to the certain part. But trust me, even when you get to the part that will feel certain at some point, again, if you overthink, it will create that uncertainty. So it's like a never-ending cycle. I feel a lot of you guys, option number, oh, I wanted to say option number one, there's only one option today. Um, force of habit, what are you going to do? And you might be somebody who, again, you, you, you tend to want to control things a lot. And it, sometimes, I don't want to say it ruins your life, but sometimes it does. Because you're not only trying to control yourself, but you're trying to control the universe. Other people, situations, outcomes, and things like this. But I do see you definitely meeting somebody within this time frame. Or maybe you already met them in your very, very early stages of just getting to know one another. Yeah? And again, they keep saying like the overthinking, the overcomplicating might make things more difficult than they need to be. The key is in simplicity. Okay, another thing that came through over here, guys, is that it's very difficult for you, for whatever reason, yeah, to kind of enjoy the peace and quiet in your life. Um, you might constantly feel like you have to be extra vigilant. And even when the time comes to kind of relax and kind of chill back, uh, chill back, <laughs> chill out and kind of sit back, you might be wondering about the crocodiles, the alligators. No, they look like alligators. It doesn't matter. Crocodiles, alligators, you name it. Some sort of thingy that can bite you. But see, the scenery is quite nice and quite peaceful. And you're not exactly in the water because there's this log over here. So it's almost like there's always going to be some sort of danger or, or whatever out there in the world. But you got to learn to enjoy the times of peace, the times where everything is okay. You don't have to plan for 10, 20 years ahead all of the time. And I want to say uh, another thing that you guys definitely need to hear over here is that you might underestimate how much you guys can handle. I know a lot of people who when push comes to shove, when they have to be in a stressful situation, they get their shit together so fast, you'd be like, oh my god, but you're like somebody who was worrying about things that didn't really matter. But when there's an actual stressful situation, you come through. You, like this warrior, wakes up within you and you're calm, cool, collected. You know what to do. You know how to handle this situation. You know what I mean? So... It's almost like, again, it's like getting lost in your thoughts. Okay. You guys are so cool, honestly. Like, I want to say you guys are so, so cool. And you don't understand how cool you are. You might underestimate, honestly, how cool you are. 
How many people look up to you? How many people wish they could be your friend or even more? This is something that you definitely need to hear, you know? You might not be, um, I don't know, like, you know, you might not consider yourself cool or pretty or wise or talented or whatever, but uh, trust me, a lot, a lot, a lot of people actually see you as that. A lot. And, um, you know, you need to understand that you're actually an inspiration to some people. You truly are. So every time you kind of hide yourself away from the world, if you don't sing that song, you know, or if you don't make that joke, or if you don't bake that cookie, you know what I mean? Something that you, you do well, that people like. If you don't make that speech, if you don't post that video or post that post or whatnot, you, you, you're not letting people enjoy you, enjoy your energy, enjoy your creation. So I want to say this to, you know, those of you who are watching and might have a creative blog just thinking that whatever you write or whatever you do is going to be a bunch of, excuse my French, a bunch of shit and people are not going to like it, people are not uh, going to accept it and people will laugh at you and people will find plot holes in your story. Guys, honestly, you are taking away the joy that people could have, the revelations that people could have the happiness, uh, the emotional support that people could have from your creation. Because you're doubting yourself. Because you're overthinking it. Because you think the way that you think is the way everybody else thinks. And you're being extra harsh on yourself. But that's not the case. There are people who need exactly what you have to bring exactly what you have to bring your experience experience is so valuable incredibly valuable even if all you have is experience and even if it's bad experience it's still good it's still going to help somebody so again like i want i want to just kind of bring you into the world where you because you might think that, again, a lot of people think the way that you do. And they view you the way that you do. And you might have a lot of negative voices in your head <clears throat> from other people. But that's not the case. And this is something that you definitely need to remember. Because that is going to push you forward. Even if it's just to take that baby step. Maybe if it's a baby's baby, baby step. Maybe it's an aunt's baby step. You know what I mean? It's a step forward. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. If you can't crawl, think in the direction of crawling. But if you stop and you take your magic away from the world, trust me, it's going to become a less special place without you. Because you matter, you're significant. And like I said, you know, when we look at the symphony, we take a look at the notes and the musical notes. Every note means something in that symphony. And this is why it's important for you to understand that your input into that collective is incredibly important. Let me see what else you, my darlings, need to hear. Okay, within the next three months, interesting how I'm getting that groovy vibe with you. <laughs> and there's a lot to do with music. Um, A lot to do with music, a lot to do with your career, a lot to do with writing. I'm getting a lot of creative types over here, guys. I want to say, and I'm getting 39 the second time around. Some of you guys might be 39 or turning 39. Um, what I want to say over here 
It's not too late to realize your childhood dream. Maybe this is exactly what you needed to hear out of this whole, whole reading. It's not too late to realize your childhood dream. To maybe just drop it all, take your savings, and I don't know, start a musical career, start a podcast, move to a different country. Um, but there's something about the calling, about being aware of your calling when you were younger. And maybe it's not going to happen exactly like that, but you will get very, very near and your inner child is going to be happy and your outer child is going to be happy and you're going to be happy. You know what I mean? But they keep saying, you know, it's not too late to walk out that door of trying to suppress your true desires, find fulfillment when there, when, where there is none, you know what I mean? You could be making millions, but if you're not happy, what's the point? What is the point? So it's not too late. Okay, you know what? This is where I'm going to end this reading. I think that's a lot to digest already. Now, if it found you, if you found it, I hope it was helpful. If you, my darlings, are up for a personal reading, all you have to do is send me an email. The email is in the description box below this reading. And in that same place, you will find a link to my Patreon with over 170 exclusive videos, additional discounts on personal readings, and much, much more. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, take care of your beautiful self now. Bye.